<laughs> I've been skating now for about two and a half years. Hi, <laughs> I'm Ben. Uh, I've been skating for three and a half years now. I started skating last year just to, uh, in between surf sessions, just so I could uh, keep the muscles up and things. Well, first I like, say eight, eight years ago, just by myself really, but then once I got into high school, uh, started thinking about it more. And then got some new friends who skated and thought it started up again. It's so much like surfing, it's not modern, and it's like, it's individual, it's not mainstream, stuff like that, it's like, you, anybody can do it. Like all the other kids like play football and stuff, don't they? And, like, not many people I knew at the time skated. With a $4.8 billion market in the US alone, skateboarding is one of the most popular extreme sports in the world. But where did it originate from? It came about in the late 70s. I know that it started off with like surfers in California trying to, when the, when the break was down. But at that point it was basically just a toy. It was just seen as nothing. But then like these surfer kids from uh, Dogtown, yeah, Dogtown, uh, Venice in Santa Monica, California. There was like a drought and they couldn't surf because the waves were down and the drought meant like all these swimming pools had to be emptied and then these kids were just like you know bored wild so they broke into these gardens and just skated them and skated them they were called the Z boys they were all mates and they got on this team for like a local surf shop I don't know it just took off like more people were skating um, and it just got really big, really quick. It's very far away. Each individual skater has their own style. This is influenced by their personality and lifestyle. My style, it's, it's a bit hard to explain. It's like... I'll do a trick and it'll look alright, but going up to it and coming out of it, it'll look sloppy or like I'm losing balance, but it's not, it's just the way I get comfy. It looks a bit weird. <laughs> oh, man. Yo! So, how long have you been skating? I've been skating now for about two and a half years. It's got me a lot of places, it's got me better friends, well, better balance, obviously. Uh, it's helped me out in a lot of like situations, you know, whenever you get angry or out, you can just go out and skate and everything just like goes away. Who inspired you to start skating and why? Um, to be honest I'd say, well, Ben, because like, he was one that started skate, like started me off, taught me. <laughs> The only reason I actually got into skating was because I'd go around like the Ryburn and uh, I'd watch Ben skate and I thought, yeah, it'd be quite cool to try it. Uh, my favourite skate brand, it's uh, Almost. I've had him, I've pretty much had an Almost board every single time. No, I've you have. <laughs> yeah, I have. I just like the skaters that are behind it, plus um, uh, they've got new like things like impact support, things like that. What's impact support? Um, well, skaters usually break the board in the bubble or on the tail. They've got two discs of uh, carbon fibre and it spreads all the pressure along the board so it won't just snap in one point. Well, today it's big. I mean, you see little kids going down every, on the skateboards, but like, when you start to become a teenager, usually it's one of the three skating BMXs or scooters that you end up being, and it doesn't really matter how long you do it for. You always will, it, you always will know a bit about it. Plus, like any skater that you know will tell, it's just freedom. I mean, you can go anywhere, learn how you want, learn what you want, and just do what you want on it. Do you think you'll keep skating? Oh God, yes. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Hi Simon. Hello. I started skating last year just to, uh, in between surf sessions, just so I could uh, keep the muscles up and things. Do you think maybe if you didn't surf, you wouldn't skate then? 
No, I think I've probably still got into skating because it's a fun thing to do. It's nice to go around on a boat and stuff like that. It's individual, it's not mainstream, stuff like that. It's like, you can, anybody can do it. What, what do you think of skating then? I just think it's freeing because it's like, loads of people say that it's a silly thing to do and it's worth time, but it's not. It's something that's individual and something that we enjoy doing. Oh yeah, has it introduced you to anything? Uh, new clothes sort of thing, lot new friends, stuff like that. I saw you nearly get. I saw you nearly get took out. <laughs> yeah, um, I will keep skating probably. Yeah. Do you think because you surf, it helped you like learn to skate? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, prefer, I can perform tight turns when I'm surfing, uh, skating because of surfing. I think. Yeah. And it's improved my surfing a lot. Yeah. And why don't you show and tell of you why you've got one of them and not a normal board? <laughs> This is my board, it's a long board, and it, I got it because it's more of a cruiser than a tricks board, so you can get around a lot easier. It's got bigger wheels, bigger rims, so you go further on less effort, but it can still do all the turning and stuff of a shorter board. Right, I don't even know if you meant to drop in on long boards, but Simon's gonna do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah. Look. Oh, maybe <laughs> you're allowed to. <laughs> I didn't. I honestly didn't think you were gonna do that. What made you like want to start in the first place? Oh. Well, basically, music I listened to, pretty much, and watching all the skate competitions that I had on DVD, which looked pretty fun. I thought you'd give it a shot. Yeah. So you're like still probably like learning now, I guess, wouldn't you? Yeah. So like, what's that like? It's a bit frustrating trying to get tricks down when you want to be able to do it straight away. Yeah. You just gotta keep at it. Well, who's your favourite skater? Bam Margera. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Just because <laughs> the way he skates, it's not he's not trying to like accomplish anything. He's just, he's just doing it because it's just out there and crazy. Pretty yeah. much most of the stuff he does. He does represent the attitude of skating because, well, the clothes he wears, his tattoos, kind of shows that he's doesn't really care about what people think. Which I guess I don't, I don't think skaters do because back in the day, when people used to skate on the streets. They used to get arrested, didn't they? Yeah. Like, it wasn't allowed. But they didn't care. Has skating introduced you to any other things? Uh, yeah. <laughs> clothes, kind of the way I talk. You start to use language, like I don't know when you when you land a trick, so it's sick. Yeah. It's not something you'd say <laughs> when you're not a skater, really. It annoys me how all these like these wannabes get in their skateboards and ah uh, just not even knowing what it's about, not even like caring about the history or what it means to be a skater or the culture. They're just doing it because it's what everyone else does. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> It's not all like that though. Not all like that, but a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on society's look on skaters? Oh, that annoys me. You, you know, usually, when someone looks at a skater, they think, oh, he's, he takes drugs, he sleeps with people and doesn't care about it, and he goes around in a van. Do you think if society knew what skating was really about, do you think you'd want that to happen? Well, I had this one person who asked me why, why I skated. And it basically, like, implied that it was just a toy and it was nothing else. But I kind of know different because I know it's a certified sport and everything in this culture in itself. So I don't really care what people think, really. So I, I, I don't know. I, I, I prefer it that people look at it in a bad way, Yeah. I guess. Cause it's kind of putting your middle finger up at them. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you show what you can do on a mini skateboard? It's <laughs> hard. Oh, <dude. laughs> really? Yeah, come on, I got hardly any battery left. Uh, right. This started because of you. <laughs> so, oh, let's drop in on the, mini on the ramp on a skateboard this size. Properly. Yeah, I don't, I don't recommend it. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Skills. Yeah.
Would you carry on skating after falling like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. Right, we'll leave it there. Yeah. Right, here's something my brother told me to do. Both recording. Sync it. What attracted to you to it in the first place? Um, Xbox, I'd say, when I was like playing skating games. I don't know, thinking about it, it's something different that everyone else wasn't doing. <laughs> It's important who you skate with, yeah. If you're skating with somebody, they'll be like, oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, you need to do this to make it look better. I skated a lot on my own, but, and I still do. But it is, when you do it with friends, it's like, it's important, I guess. Whereabouts do you skate? My garden. <laughs> I skate in my garden. Uh, I used to skate at my school car park, that was the first place I skated. Skated that for like years with uh, with these guys and I eventually like managed to buy my own ramp. So I skate there most days. Worth the money. Oh yeah. Well, more my money anyway. <laughs> Going to the skate parks is fun and all that, but you can't be having a ramp in your garden. Well, you know, you can't. Like, I will still go skating outside, but it's not really my thing. Like, you know, that ramp's fine. I can go out there whenever I want, really, and skate. Who inspired you to start skating? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Chris Cole, actually, I used to, I watched a few videos of him, like, man, he looks cool. He had like the long black hair and the black bandana with like stars on it. He looks badass. I know uh, oh no, Danny Way, actually, think about it. I mean, we'd all heard of like Tony Hawk and stuff, but I heard of Danny Way around the time I started skating, and it was like he was like my first like proper in in like inspiration. I guess you can jump down stair sets and stuff but Danny Ray is like jumping over the Great Wall of China skating at 70 miles per hour so I was like yeah pretty inspirational guy I guess Has skating introduced you to other to do other things? <laughs> Everything introduces you to bad stuff and good stuff like I think and it's just about which ones got more like I have loads of good things that come from skating like music I listen to comes from skating clothes you wear come from skating friends you know come from skating I film stuff for a hobby that came from skating so that's all really good stuff that like you know big parts of my life now I guess I wouldn't be snowboarding now if it weren't for skateboarding bad stuff I guess has happened along the way it, I wouldn't say it's a bad influence because, like I said, I'd be so much worse off if I didn't skate, I think. Yeah, it is worth it. Like, I wouldn't, if I could reverse time and go back and not skate, I wouldn't because I'd just be some fat loser, I think. Yes, that sounded cool. Favorite skater. I'm I'm back in Lizard King still. I think pretty insane skater. Like you can see that in in the way he skates uh, and the way he dresses. Like everything. I got this deck which is his. He's got bigger. He's a cool skater nowadays. So at the moment, yeah, favorite. Uh, at the moment, it's got to be Rodney Mullen. Like he is just the best. He's awesome. <laughs> right. Would you link music to skating? Yeah, music a lot. Every time I skate, I'm always listening onto my iPod. I just, and every single mood, there's always something to like do. But skating's always like every single mood, and it really accompanies it really well. Do you wear skate make clothes 
do you feel like you need to? I don't really feel like I need to, but I like them because it's just they're a lot comfier and like because they're made for skaters, it's usually a lot better. Like they're more flexible and they're just a lot looser, so you don't you know act constricted and fall over. Yeah, I wear skate clothes mainly the shoes and the hoodies because when you're skating, the shoes are more comfortable and easier to drop in on ramps. And the hoodies that I wear mainly more baggy because move around a lot more. What injuries have you attained <coughs> from skating? Uh, I haven't hurt myself too bad, I don't think. Probably jinxing myself, but I like a few cuts, a few aches, but nothing broken as of yet. Not at the moment, I probably will be playing <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, I've had quite a few injuries. Most notable is probably um, the scar. Uh, I went through a nail when I was trying this trick and it ripped through my knee and pulled out like ligaments and stuff and like they've had to sew it up but my knee's not really been the same. Well when you bail it's like when you hit the floor it's like damn I don't want to do this anymore but then like you get back up and it's just like unless you're really hurting you just do it again so I no it doesn't make you want to quit it makes you want to like get the trick more if anything. The injuries is worth it. Uh, the first time you land like a new trick, it it just feels godly. There's no way you can like skate for like your whole life and not like have some sort of serious accident with it. But I, at the same time, it didn't put me off it. But yeah, I guess it does kind of shake you up a bit. <laughs> Bye.